Boys, uh, that's another terrible performance. Uh, wh where do you stand on the whole Mourinho thing? Is it time to make a change? Can we be more patient? What more? What more can we wait for? See, the club is losing its sovereignty as a club. You know, like you said, we've we've gone down levels. It's come to a it's come to a time now where people are just taking the piss, and it needs to change. And they should have changed it before. We knew what we were getting with Mourinho, so we can't complain. We know the type of manager that he is. And I'm not saying all the fault is Mourinho's, because there are big players there with big egos. But Mourinho needs to man-manage properly, and he's failed to do that. And if you fail to do that, then you failed as a manager. And then, unfortunately, you got to get someone new in, because they look dead, man. Look, Mourinho, if you ever get to see this video, we came from Sheffield to watch that. Nil-nil. What a lot, like what, what was that? No style whatsoever, no style, no ambition to drive up the pitch. Do you know what I mean? That, you know that fire? We've lost it completely. It's gone, they're dead, they're dejected. And that's the result of Mourinho's man management, the effect that it's had on the changing room. So you got to make a change. I mean, what else do we do? You tell me. What I mean, else your man is saying, it's done, he's finished. Like we can't be any more patient. Did you echo that? The thing is, the club, there's a problem, there's, there's a few problems in the club, there's not just one. Sometimes you have a problem with the way you're playing, sometimes you have a problem with the players' attitudes, the manager, the board. But it looks like with Man United, there's, there's, there's four or five different sort of problems. And for me, I know it's not working so great with Mourinho. And the club, the, the players aren't playing so well, but what we need to understand is some of the, a lot of the players aren't good enough. You can, if you look at that starting 11 today, you can name about five of them players that are nowhere near good enough to play for Man United. A lot of people might disagree, but players like Valencia is, is good defensively. He can't get down there and whip the ball in. Yeah. Ashley Young didn't play today. He does play left back a lot. When he's there, he puts his head down and he whips it in. You know, we've got players like Chris Smalling, play a defence that Sir Alex, Sir Alex Ferguson left behind for us. You know, with Phil Jones, Valencia, and you know, we've got the same defence. So the recruitment's not being good enough from Man United, it's not been good enough. We're not being playing well, but the, you know, we need, we need new players. And, and I don't have, I don't have, I've, we're starting to be like Arsenal fan, we've all seen Arsenal fan TV. We're starting to be like that, slowly and surely. That's, and a, that's a good point. We've, we've, we've laughed, we've laughed at clubs like that for a long time. Do you see us falling into that trap? You, 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 this is the, gonna be the sixth year where we haven't won the league. Before you know it, it's 10. Then it's 15, do you know what I mean? And it just rolls on. Can you see Can you see that happening if we don't make changes? Yeah, I think I can because it's like Liverpool like back in the day when they was winning titles and then they went on for like 20 plus years. So as they're not changing on, I think obviously as a as a club now, we don't want to be a sucking, a sucking club, you know, in terms of managers and stuff and saying that we need to stick with it. But he's his third season now and he should have made a change and he hasn't. And it's like at the start of the season. Soon he didn't get his players in the transfer window. He didn't say, right, I've got these, I've got these squad of players. I'm going to improve them and go on. He just made excuses from the start. So he, does, he doesn't care if he loses now. He doesn't care if he loses matches. All his excuses are going to be, you didn't give me the players. And that's it. He does not care. He's not changing it up. And when you look at all the teams like Liverpool and Chelsea, like Chelsea's managers only been there a couple of months. And look what football they play. That's, that, that's such a great example. I mean, you look at Sarri, he's been there, what, three months, exactly. something like that. And they're ready. They've made a change. So yeah, could we, could we, could we follow that suit? Yeah, of course. I mean, look, at the end of the day, they brought in a, with Sarri, they brought in a good manager that plays good football and that's got faith in his players. You want, you need someone fresh, someone, I hate to say, but like a, like a Conte that's going to come. Someone solid, do you know what I mean? Who can box that team up. Would you, would you take Conte? Would you take I him? personally Bro, wouldn't. Rather, you know what it is? I would, I would like a manager that comes in and thinks, okay, Anthony Martial, Alexis Sanchez, very good attacking players. I'm going to give them a free role. And if you give them free, like 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 Sarri's done with Hazard but at Chelsea, he's given him he's given Hazard that free role that Conte didn't do, Mourinho didn't do, and you can see who's who's so who most on fire. Do you say Zidane? Would you take him? I would bring in Zidane. Oh, I would, see, I'll I'll tell you why I'd bring in Zinedine Zidane. I'll bring him in not because I think that he's gonna come and he's gonna dominate the Premier League and he's gonna take us to the Champions League final, but I'd bring him in because I've got hope that. He will do good, but also anyone but Mourinho right now. If you was to put on the table for me right now, even even um, Marco Silva, I'd take Marco Silva any day. He's a, he's got that. He knows how to play football. He knows how to attack. 
you know, we want someone like that. He's he's coming in with, you know, when Pogba went on social, he went on social media and he he said attack, 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 and he took him off the vice captaincy. Straight the next day, took him off. But that's the that's what the fans are shouting as well. It's not just Pogba. It's a big problem. What I'm what I'm saying is with Conte, you're getting somebody solid, somebody who's got Premiership experience, or somebody who need, who knows like, well, yeah, I know he messed up with Hazard and that relationship. Mm. But that's what I mean. Would we not would we not maybe be faced with the same thing if we got someone like him? I don't know. I don't think so. I just think Mourinho's just got that arrogance and the attitude that he's always had in his career, and that's what's made him a good manager. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you need that personality mm. to get to the top, but. Unfortunately, I, I'll be honest with you, I think Man City have just totally outdone us. They got the right man. They got Pep. That's who we needed, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's a bit too late now, you know what I mean? So we just have to There's go with boys. it. Thanks for talking to me, bro. Last one. Last one, please.